All right, everyone, I'm pretty excited about this. I've just added an, my first Excel pivot table into a Shiny app with the TidyQuant package. So let's check it out. So I have some drag and drop here. So I'm going to for first drag the symbol to the columns, and then I'm going to drag date to the rows, and then adjusted to the values. And this is the adjusted stock prices. So uh, what I want to do is I want to actually, instead of summarizing, I want to take the average and I want to, instead of using date, I want to group the dates. So I'm going to, what, what I'm going to do is add some date groupings. I'm just going to do a month and then I'm going to add a, court, uh, a year. And what I'll do is I'll get rid of this date field and instead swap that out for year and month and you can see we've got the year the month and then each of the stock prices or, and it's the average stock price for that month and then um, i don't really want it in this format what i'd rather see is the months go along the top so to do that i'll just swap this out over here and then i'm going to put the symbol over here just to get the symbols going like that and so on and uh, so this is pretty cool i can just kind of swap things out and uh you know the the table just updates very easily and shiny and um, so this was, was some stock data but you can use this basically with any type of data set uh, if i wanted to do quarters too i just add a quarter and uh and we can just add that in and you know you're off to the races so cool um check out my I'm going to be giving this uh, app away as a gift to the Learning Labs subscribers. So if you want to check out my Learning Labs program, uh, Learning Lab 30 is going to be on finance apps with, with TidyQuant. And the subscribers are going to actually get this application. So it's a pretty cool gift. All right. See ya.